opening of the hatches around 10 p.m. Central Time this evening. Fly around started. Copy. Range rate is 125. We can also see the, the visiting vehicle officer in uh, the flight control room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston now confirms what you're seeing on the screen from the external television camera on the Soyuz spacecraft, and that is that the fly around has begun. This is all done in an automated state to the CORE's automated rendezvous system that is the, uh, bounces radio beacon signals back and forth to a comparable system on the Russian segment of the International Space Station to feed navigational data to the onboard computers on the Soyuz to compute uh, its distance from the station and its rate of closure. At the time of docking itself, the Soyuz should be uh, approaching at a very glacial rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second for contact and capture. We're on page 77. Пункт 101, проверка and there, from cameras on the uh, truss of the International Space Station, you can see the Soyuz TMA-01M spacecraft as it travels uh, 222 miles above the Earth, east of New Guinea. Continuing its fly around to align itself uh, with the Poisk module of the International Space Station. Watching on board uh, and keeping tabs on the approach of their newest crewmates that will be arriving a short time from now are Station Commander Doug Wheelock, Shannon Walker, and Fyodor Yurchikin, who are in their 116th day in space, their 114th day aboard the International Space Station. Page 79. In the bottom, Bravo 1, do not open. Copy. Page 86. We are on 86, the uh, accelerated trim right at this point, we close in RPV-1. Okay, in the process of accelerated trim, we close RPV-1. Copy. Soyuz exactly where it needs to be at this point, uh, completing its fly around uh, to align itself to the Poisk module of the International Space Station. You are looking uh, at two of the other Russian spacecraft, actually three of the other Russian spacecraft as we speak, two progress vehicles and the Soyuz TMA-19 spacecraft that will bring home Wheelock Walker and Yurchik in just seven weeks from now. Uh, verify SA plus BO using manovacometer. When exactly? After so use Commander Alexander Kaleri flying under the call sign of Ingul after a uh, famous river that runs through the Ukraine, continuing uh, to oversee uh, the fly around that will result in the initiation of station keeping just a couple of minutes from now at a range of 160 meters away from the docking port of the Poisk module. About the retraction, how copy? Please repeat. After the retract, how copy? After retract, so when the port will be aligned and the hooks will start driving, then we'll 
are go to transition to the orbital compartment. Immediately after you see the LED on, indicating that the hooks are closed. Okay, copy. A good view of the Soyuz spacecraft uh, from cameras on the International Space Station. The uh, blinking uh, device that you see, that's actually the uh, core's antenna that is uh, pulsing radio beacons uh, to and from uh, a comparable core's automated rendezvous system on the Russian segment of the International Space Station to update uh, the navigational computers. The display is being uh, read out uh, on the new Neptune digital display control panel in this new modified Soyuz spacecraft. The uh, Soyuz is 215 meters away from its arrival port at the International Space Station. Everything going in very smoothly. Alexander Kaleri, an old hand at uh, Russian spaceflight operations, one of the most experienced humans in the world in terms of spaceflight. And we can see the LED on the left case back, K15 at 2. 42.23, approximately. Copy. The Soyuz and the International Space Station about to cross the equator, moving from northwest to southeast, northeast of New Zealand. Docking is scheduled about 19 minutes from now. Alexander Yurevich, uh, let's uh, give the red highlight uh, to see the digits. Yes, use red or orange. Okay. Right now I have orange. Right now again we have orange. Yes. I selected red. Do you like me to rotate it? Yes, please rotate. Is it okay? Or would you like us to adjust it more? No. Uh, Alexander Kaleri reporting back to Russian flight yeah. controllers here in Koryov that the Soyuz is rotating okay to put itself in the correct orientation relative to its solar arrays inside 200 meters away from its docking port. We should be uh, initiating station keeping a short time from now. Uh, roll maneuver is in progress. Copy. So yes, of course. We monitor. Copy. Course pre-chale. Course in pre-chal. Transition to pre antennas. Copy. No, not now. Prepare. Okay, I don't think we can make it. Uh, 
And uh, with the uh, Soyuz TMA-01M spacecraft just uh, 200 meters away from the International Space Station, station keeping has now begun. A reminder. This will be about a uh, six-minute period uh, to enable the Russian flight controllers here in Korolev to assess uh, the alignment of the forward docking probe on the Soyuz spacecraft uh, with the Poisk module that you see uh, just in the lower right-hand quadrant of this crosshair view from the external camera on the Soyuz vehicle. We're about 15 minutes away from uh, the link up of the Soyuz spacecraft to the Poisk module of the International Space Station. Once that's complete, uh, the forward docking probe will retract. The spacecraft will form a hard mate to enable hooks and latches to close on both sides of the docking interface between the Soyuz and the Poisk. That will initiate a period of uh, about two orbits worth of leak checks uh, by the Soyuz crew and uh, the station crew led by. Uh, the Russian segment lead, Fyodor Yurchikin. Once uh, it is verified that we have an airtight seal between the two spacecraft, the stage will be set for the opening of the hatches right around 10 p.m. Central Time, 7 a.m. Moscow Time here on Sunday morning. And the uh, six crew members will have their first opportunity to greet one another. And for Scott Kelly, Alexander Kaleri and Alex Skripochka, the beginning of five and a half months on board the orbital outpost. You can see uh, the Poisk module, the conical docking port uh, right in the middle of the uh, longitudinal axis of the International Space Station drifting close to the center of the crosshairs in this engineering view provided by external camera on the uh, Soyuz TMA-01M at the very 